Yeah. Woo. How's that pizza? Is it good? It smells fantastic. I'm like drooling up here. Uh, my name is Kevin. I host the morning show that is on Wild 95.5 along with a lady named Virginia and a madman named Jason. Oh, I got hecklers in the crowd, huh? Hey, you know what? You got to pay for that bagel, by the way, there, bub. Somebody uh, check him down. There's Virginia and Jason right there. Swore them. Give them a round of applause. Everybody turn around and look at them. Bigger, bigger, big round. I mean, they're big stars. Make it bigger. Come on, yeah. <laughs> Bring it, buddy. You think you got it? Bring it. No, yeah, because you're going to knock something off and break it. That'd be awesome. Uh, if you guys, obviously, um, uh, did, did anybody hear Carmen for the first time on our show? Because, okay, nice. I am a huge Carmen fan. I think that they are absolutely fantastic. Um, cover songs, which one is your favorite? Because I've got one. Isn't that the most unbelievable thing? The first comment on YouTube, if you look at the uh, version they did of Look At Me Now, is this song is better than the original. Would you say that? They totally nailed it. So let's get them up here because they want to answer a whole bunch of questions. Say hello to Carmen. We're bringing them up. Nick and Amy, come on up here. How are you? Doing great. So awesome to meet you guys. So awesome to meet you. Now we're going to give you guys a chance to ask them some questions, anything that is going on. I've got a couple questions. First off, I had just heard this. Is this true? How long have you been rapping, Amy? Do How long? When is the what is the first song you rapped to? How'd you get into it? Because you're amazing doing it. Thank you. Well, I grew up in conservative Nebraska. My grandfather was a pastor, so obviously I was rapping from. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I had to Christian I had rap. to sneak a copy of Dr. Dre's Chronic 2001 into my house. Wow. Okay. And secretly loved rap my whole life. Went to college in Boston. Mm -hmm. Met Nick. We started doing YouTube uh, videos out of desperation for people to hear our music. Right. And Nicki Minaj came out, and we covered Your Love. Okay. And it was the biggest video to date for us. So we kept rapping, kept rapping. Look at me now came out and you guys blew it up. Yeah. Yes. So thank you. But she's been rapping for maybe, I don't know, like what, 12 minutes, 15 like minutes? Like probably <laughs> about a year, maybe a little bit really more. Really about a little bit? Okay. Yeah. Wow. That is amazing. Uh, does anybody else out there have questions? Uh, yes. The uh, dude in the uh, really dirty Old Navy fleece. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You have a question? Uh, For you, yeah. yes. <laughs> <laughs> you have, you have kind of like a little ring thing. See, I never know like what the ring thing. I know mean. it's a little guy, but we yeah we're we're together together in a band together. Well, still no, still it's okay. Wow. So but cool. we what decided today? what uh, what came first? Was it the romance or was it the uh, the band? chicken or the egg? Yeah. Um, <sighs> well, we actually were to get we started dating mm -hmm. sophomore year of college, so yeah. it was. Okay. How many years is that? Six years ago? It was like 19 years ago. So you multiply by seven, like dog years, because mm -hmm. it's college. So we've been together 39 years. Wow. Do you guys sing love songs to one another? Like, does that happen? No. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, baby, I love it. No. Uh, see, I think that'd be awesome if you should, like, look into each other's eyes. I, I don't know. I just got yeah, something no, here. That's totally not cheesy at all. We never do <laughs> it's that. It's completely Absolutely cheesy. Not. That's why I think it'd be awesome. I'd love to see that. Uh, questions. Who has questions? Yes. Hi. I know your name is Amy. Yes. And you're Nick. Where did the name Carmen come from? Great question. Great question. <laughs> Next question, please. <laughs> <laughs> so two words. Carmen in Latin means song. So obviously that's something that's pretty important to us. So we took that and the word karma and put them together to get our version of Carmen. Carmen. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. It's science. <laughs> Someone's like, that's so deep, bro. I <laughs> Yeah, bro. I don't want to ask. Well, I do want. Okay. I'm going to ask you a controversial question. Sure. Because just it's on my mind. Go for it. This whole thing, you got the relationship going on. You guys, have you had a discussion that you got a successful band, you've got a new album that's coming out? Has your label sat down and talked to you about this? Let's say, for instance, just uh, you're like, he's a pig. I just can't, st I can't deal with him anymore. It's and true. Yeah. Which, is, and which is true. Yes. Which and is true. Yes. Let's just say that you just realize it's just not working out as a couple. Have you guys had this discussion? What well, would mean, happen? Clearly, I would take the name because I am the heart and soul of this band. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. I uh -huh. would, um, well, I've always wanted to be a professional bowler. So okay. we decided that it'd be fine. So I have you talked about, bowl. have you said you're going to stay together as a group even if you don't stay together as a couple? Has that discussion come we up? We haven't even 
even talked about it. Honestly, dude, and anybody that actually hangs with us and has some time with us, they, they never even bring it up. Yes. <laughs> okay, yeah, <laughs> that's, just, that's my it's thing. It's a valid question, dude, though. Okay. Absolutely. Are the I epic didn't. people in the room? What do you think? Are we going to, are they having internal conversations? No? Anybody? Well, I know. I know. I, I know. I hated to do it, but it's like there was a band called ABBA, and they had something. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. Kind of like that go they down. They were having so Sunny much fun just before you brought that up. I know. Yeah, yeah, I know. I totally, like, killed the room. Man, I'm sorry about that. It's just, it was in my head. It's going to bother me. No, I'm sorry. absolutely. Well, uh, we promised you guys we're going to stay together. How about that? That's awesome. Easy. Uh, other questions. Do we have some other questions for Carmen? Yes. Oh, man, i got to really move a lot. Okay. <laughs> yes, what's your question? Amy, how long does it take you to do that wonderful hair of yours? Oh, thank you, sweetie. I This is actually a five-minute do for me now. I mean, it, the first time I did it was like an hour, two hours. It was horrible. I did a tutorial on YouTube if you want to learn. It's like five minutes long. Take some practice. And I actually invented a one that you can just put on like as a headband. <laughs> so awesome. hopefully that will be available in the Carmen store. Did, did you wear Halloween hey, 2012. Did you wear your hair like that before the YouTube videos, or was that something that you came up with for like when the YouTube videos came on? Because I know you had a different style than some of the other yes, ones. Yes, we did about 38 videos before Look At Me Now mm -hmm. even went up. Right. So I was always experimenting with hairstyles. I actually invented a new one the other day called the Double Suicide. Okay. Nice. And I kind of look like Minnie Mouse, not going to lie. <laughs> awesome. um, but I'm always inventing styles. This is just kind of the signature one. So I, it's been going on okay. for about a year now. Yeah. Okay. Like it, so, yeah. And you have great hair too. I didn't want you to feel left out. <laughs> hey, I, I admire. I trust you, me. I, I really look at guys' you hair. Mean it? You have nice. I do mean it. You have nice hair. It's wavy. It's thick. It's gorgeous. Uh, anybody else have any uh, questions? Yes. Again, the uh, guy who's stealing our bagels in the back. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Everybody, this is Zach. Say hey, hi, Zach. Zach. <laughs> we found him. He was homeless. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's Zach so is, awesome. Zach Thanks, is the be <laughs> Thanks. He's the best guitar player in the land, by the way. He is. Thank you. Uh, we have some questions off of uh, this thing called Facebook. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. We're kind of like uh, one of the first radio stations to use Facebook. I don't know if you knew that. Antonia has asked a question. What was your inspiration towards your single Broken Hearted? Good question. Broken Hearted was actually inspired uh, by the story of how we met back in, what was it, sophomore year? Yes, forever. 39 years ago. 39 years ago. Uh, it's, it's about, w so we meet at a party. Did anybody see the music video for Broken Hearted? Nice. If you haven't, uh -huh. go watch it. It's like the real life story of how we met. But we went at a party, and we added a twist ending that's not 100% true. But neither of us called each other the next day, and here I am. You know, girls, if you meet a guy at a party, and the next day you get nothing from them, you're like, what? is going on. Five-day rule. Every five minutes you're checking. Right, five-day rule. They tell guys it's a three-day rule. What the hell? <laughs> so that, it's kind of what it's about. I mean, you're just so cool. embarrassed. And then all of a sudden you're in your room frantically running around checking your phone, and then you go, cheerio. <laughs> That's what it's about. All right, this is from Parina. What made you guys want to start posting YouTube videos? P.S. I love you. You're crazy talented. Oh, <laughs> P.S. I love you. My other favorite movie. Yes, I love you. <laughs> um, we lost our minds, and mm. no, I'm kidding. We had original music up on YouTube. Nobody was searching for a little duo out of Boston banging on a wooden box and singing. Right. So we started doing the cover songs in hopes that people would accidentally find us. So we were like, "Firework" by Katy Perry, cover by Carmen. And so yeah. some people were upset because they thought it was Katy Perry, and then some people were excited to find us. It's working for a lot of artists these days. Absolutely. The Beebs. Yes. Same the thing Biebs. for him. The yeah. Biebs. Anybody else have any questions? Yes. Well, I just want to say you guys are awesome, but Thank who you. inspires your style? Ooh. Any retro babe from probably the 1940s on. Uh, I also love Gwen Stefani. She, I'm so excited for their new album, no doubt. Um, also, Janelle Monet, she's an amazing oh, yeah. singer and has a big pompadour. So mm -hmm. fun, mm -hmm. and a lot of James Dean stuff for me. Yes, <laughs> like James that. Dean. All right, time for one more question. You guys should ask it because if not, I'll bring the room down again. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Were you guys uh, fans of the Roots before uh, Questlove started oh. tweeting about you? For sure, man. For Absolutely. Sure. The roots are ridiculous. I mean, if anybody's ever seen it, everybody knows the roots, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
They are um, ridiculous, yes. especially live and stuff. They play. There's like eight people on stage, but this sounds like one person. They are amazing. Yeah, they flirt with jazz a lot, and go having gone to Berklee College of Music, it's a lot of jazz over there. So we were, when they called us, we were like, "What's going on?" The quest is just ridiculous. It's stupid. Are you guys ready to hear the unbelievable sounds of Carmen? Here we go. Truthfully, I know you want it, so come and get it. A cheerio. I've been waiting all day. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's get up, let's get on it. Don't you leave it broken hearted tonight. Oh, 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 oh. honest baby, I'll do yeah. anything you want to. Yeah. So can we finish what we start? Thank you. Thank you guys very much. Thanks everybody for coming out today. <sighs> this is awesome. This is our first time here. First time here. It's about time. You guys are amazing. We might just uh, have to. Down. So a couple of months ago, we did this show called Saturday Night Live. <laughs> Thank you for watching. It was absolutely a crazy night. Terrible experience. Terrible. Terrible. Everybody there is just not good at anything. There's, the, there's no humor anywhere. No, nope. it no wasn't dead. funny. No, I'm kidding. No. It was amazing. And we, the second song we did that, so we did Broken Hearted. The second song we did was like a very, very hip-hop song. And it kind of gives you a better idea of what the album is going to sound like. You're going to get the pop, but also the, the hip-hop side. And uh, Steven Spielberg said it was his favorite. So this is for you, Steven. <laughs> this, is, this is I Told You So. Is it time? Green light, egotistic battle cry. I was right, you was wrong. Called you out, finished strong. Whiskey, sour, lemonade. Fences up my barricade. I had heart, you had spades. I can see the color when your face is a fade. That's how it is, ain't no riddle. Crunchy on the edge, but soft in the middle. I got a lot, you got a little. I'ma play war drums, you play the fiddle. Play real slow, lean on the bow. Everybody's sad when they miss a free throw. Lost your control, I'm gonna roll. Right all along, and I knew it in my soul. I told you so. Don't wanna break what you already know. Oh, I told you so. Don't wanna break what you already know. You already know. I told you, I told 
you, I told you so, oh, I told you, I told you. La la la, look at me now, 15 rounds, bottle in my hand, pour a little on the ground. Stim you when I talk trash, I'ma put it on blast, you can get it if you ask for it. Put it on the middle finger of the fat lady singing out, shatter up your glass house. Ni hao. Uh, Meanwhile, uh, I smile, uh, then I go, uh, animal style. Picking up another million, making me another killing to a woman on a top dollar bill. And you strip a lot of fun, tell me what you really think about it, kidding. I don't even care, nobody listen to a fool's go. Could've hit it, be about another trade to please tell me on my knees, talk to you later, and I'm the poop they go. Right all along, and I knew it in my soul. Thank you. So like we said, that's a little bit more of the ballad side of the album. It's a ballad. That's the more gentle side of the album. And we're going to play one more for you guys. This is so the album's coming out May 8th, and it's called Hello. 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 And this is the title track called Hello. Hello. <laughs> Zach, 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 you good? Yes. Did everybody say hi, Zach, yet? <laughs> hi, Zach. <laughs> Forget them. A lot of things changed since then. Don't they know that I came from Nebraska? Am I gonna quit? Nice you to ask, but mama told me go and chase what you're after. I'm on track, so I'm in the rap faster. I'ma break it down for you and get a little bit first. Laying on the brain on it like a grim reaper. Running at the bottom of the yuck, I got a fever. Hey, give me two up. Are you a believer? We can't wait to see you again, hopefully this summer, on tour. Wow, give them some love. How about that, Carmen? How amazing was that? That was fantastic. Thank you, guys. I gotta say, it was so awesome to not only get to hear the music, but to get to meet you guys and get to know you a little bit. You're totally awesome. Worlds of success, and Thank you, you got to come on our morning show, okay? Yay! Absolutely. Just bring that Dunkin' Donuts, man. She will be there. I will be there. <laughs> French <laughs> vanilla? Okay. She will smell it. That's great. Thank you guys so much for coming out today. We really appreciate it. Thank you guys for listening to Wild 95.5 and the Kevin Virginia and Jason show.
That's the power of the Home Depot. Valid on basic installation, U.S. only. See store for details, exclusions, and license numbers. Welcome to Bonefish Grill. And that's why karaoke should be an Olympic sport. Ah, spring is in the air at Bonefish Grill. And with it, celebration. The reasons are many. And Bonefish, like a bridge.